Right, let's look at the science. Seeing as that's what everyone keeps saying. Not on anything current, uh, just, you know, that special little company. Um, what's this? What's this thing? It's called whatever that is. Right, what is it? It is for it is one of a group of medicines called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. These medicines are used to treat depression and or anxiety disorders. That's all can be used to treat depression and prevention of recurrence of depression in adults. Social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, panic disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder in adults and children and adolescents aged 6 to 17 years old. 6 year olds. Can you believe this? Because as we'll go on, let's just find out. Let's just skip it to the end. I don't need to make this video too long. Um, where is it? Do not take, that's, I probably should go through the whole thing, do not take, if you're allergic to, blah, 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 blah. if you're taking or have, taking medicines called, blah, 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 blah. if you're taking another medicine called, yep, basically ignore that bit, warnings and precautions, talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking this rule. Well, I'm assuming that was the doctor or pharmacist that prescribed it, surely, isn't it? Is it not? Medicines are not always suitable for everyone. Tell your doctor before you take that sort. If you suffer from or have suffered in the past from any of the following conditions. Now, notice that if you have suffered... All right, epilepsy, but, but then here's the second one. If you have suffered from manic dep depressive illness, is that not what... They're prescribing it for them. Depression. Post traumatic stress disorder. Panic disorder. Obsessive person. You know, I'd say that's uh, manic depressive illness. Um. Or schizophrenia. Or if you have a manic episode, contact your daughter immediately. And it goes on, because this video is getting pretty long, so I better just keep it going. But you get the gist of it. If you're depressed, take this, but, you know, if you're depressed, then you probably shouldn't have this, is what we're saying. Um, See, this is very key. Right, here we go. You may be more likely to think like this if you have previously had thoughts about killing or harming yourself. If you are a young adult... In, right, let me go to the previous page quickly. What was it saying? Thoughts of suicide and worsening of your depression or anxiety disorder. If you are depressed and or have anxiety disorders, you can sometimes have thoughts of harming or killing yourself. These may be increased when first starting antidepressants. Since these medicines all take time to work, usually about two weeks, but sometimes longer.
so they're saying there it will increase suicidal thoughts for the first two weeks. But what they're not saying is that it, after a couple of weeks, it doesn't go away that feeling. But it's just when you, if you don't take this medicine, that feeling will get ten times worse. You may be more likely to think like this if you have previously had thoughts about killing or harming yourself. If you are a young adult, information from clinical trials has shown an increased risk of suicidal behaviour in adults aged less than 25 years with psychiatric conditions who were treated with an antidepressant. If you have thoughts of harming or killing yourself at any time, contact your doctor or go to a hospital straight away. You may find it helpful to tell a relative or close friend that you are depressed or have an anxiety disorder and ask them to read this leaflet. You might ask them to tell you if they think your con depression or anxiety is getting worse or if they are worried about changes in your behaviour. Isn't that the doctor's job? Who's prescribing this? Aren't they meant to be keeping track of that? Is that not? Was that just passing on all liability to, you know, like they like to? Sexual problems. Medicines like Lustral may cause symptoms of sexual dysfunction. In some cases, these symptoms have continued after stopping treatment. And that's a fact, because I know people that have got problems like, so it's not a joke. That's something that they should help warn people about before they start handing that, these out like smarties. Children and ad adolescents. Sertraline should not usually be used in children. Now how many of you out there got hooked on these from uh, some GP when you were still at school? Depression is part of growing up. You learn to deal with your problems you know or, or you don't it's, but taking knees is not solved anything for anyone psychology you know mental health problems need to be dealt with mentally What's, what people need isn't a, a drug it's counselling or you know uh, some help like psychological help no, things need to be dealt with in the mind. That's what mental health is, you know. You start fucking with the, you know, chemicals in your brain, then... I don't know. I don't know, I'm not an so I'm just going to continue reading this. Um, yeah, so... Eight years... Uh, Shouldn't, be, shouldn't usually be using children and adolescents less than 18 years old, except for patients with obsessive compulsive disorder. Patients under 18 have an increased risk of undesirable effects, such as suicide attempt. Alright, so let me get this straight, yeah. The, the OCD, I'm assuming, is things like, you know, can be cleaning, could be all sorts of things. Which Sometimes OCD is not a bad thing. I mean, someone's doing their, doing something and getting into what they're doing. But suicidal thoughts, that's like the worst end of mental health you can get. Could you be in it? That's literally the worst. When you're in that place, that's when your mind is in the worst it can be. So you might go from being a bit of a clean freak, obsessed with like cleaning and doing all that, wiping down counters and mopping and whatever, or you might, but take this and then that will sort that out because you'll end up uh, doing yourself in. That's what it's saying. Risk of one's other effects such as suicide attempt, thoughts of harming or killing themselves, suicide thoughts and hostility, mainly aggressiveness. You see with this? Oppositional behaviour and anger. When they are treated with this class of medicines. Do you see this? This isn't a medicine. Nevertheless, it is possible that you, or oh, highly, highly probable, in fact, almost indefinitely certain, or absolutely certain, shall I say, that they probably will prescribe these. You, uh, it, 
Nevertheless, it is possible that your doctor decides to prescribe Lushal to a patient under 18. If it is in the patient's interest. Yeah, but how can that be in their interest if it does all this to them? And, you know, was that an informed decision? Have you gone through this leaflet with them to sh tell them about these risks? Um... If your doctor has prescribed Lushal to you and you are less than 18 years old and you want to discuss this, please contact him or her. Are you seeing this? So only if you want to discuss it, but otherwise don't worry, just take it. If you're under 18 and you do want to discuss it, you'll have to, after reading this whole leaflet, contact them and uh, then they'll find out more. But... You know, they, they can't have uh, just told you that the first time when you saw them. I mean, you got it prescribed, no. That's, uh, that bit comes later, once you've already been taking it for a couple of weeks. And then you contact them saying, what's going on? Um, furthermore, if any of the symptoms listed above appear or worsen while you are taking Lushal, you should inform your doctor. Also, the long-term safety of Lustral in regard to growth, mature, mat maturation and learning, cognitive and behavioural development in this age group has not yet been demonstrated. Right, so what are they saying then? So that means that... The Basically, they don't know what the outcome is. They don't know whether it will affect all them things. It's not yet been de demonstrated, so, you know, when when you've all had it for X amount of time, and uh, once they've gathered enough of that data of what did it do, then, then they'll be able to tell you. But until then, just carry on being guinea pigs, basically. That's what they're saying there, by the looks of things. Um, this is the science as well, so... I'll oh, just stick to the science. Well, this is their words, mate, not mine, you know what I mean? Might be adding a little anecdote here and there, but this is their words, you know. This is the Pfizer medicine for depression, which I'm sure has probably doubled over the past year. Right. Taking Lushal together with the following medicines may cause serious side effects. Medicines called... One of the main oxidase inhibitors. Oh, I, I'm not going to go for that bit. Right. Psychotropic drugs. Driving and using machines. Psychotropic drugs such as sertraline, may influence your ability to drive or use machines. You should therefore not drive or operate machinery until you know how this medication affects your ability to perform these activities. So that's saying this medicine may make you unable to perform normal activities. Day-to-day -day activities which you may be used to doing with you know a full working fully working body you know young healthy man or woman you know fighting fit um but this medicine may make it so you're un uh, unable to perform these activities so wait just wait just take it first for a couple of weeks and just see how you get on and if you don't pass out or anything then you might be right to pick up the tool but um how to take lustral always take this medicine as Exactly as your doctor or pharmacist has told you. Right, this is getting pretty long this video, so panic disorder, social anxiety. For panic what's it, what's it saying here? How to take this all? The recommended dose is for adults. Alright, for depression and cross disorder, blah blah blah, some my doses now.
It may take several weeks before your symptoms begin to improve. Treatment of depression should usually continue for six months after improvement. They're full of it. That's that's and the rest. You don't come off them when you're on them. If you've been on them that long, six months. By then, you oh god, you'll be worse off if you come off them. I've done. I've not met one person in my lifetime who's actually benefited from these. They've all ended up like in the right wreck. Is is uh, uh, they know this as well because they're writing it in here. If you stop taking Lustral, do not stop. See straight away. Look here we go. Oh, if you forget to take Lustral, oh, I've gone down too much. Where have we gone? Oh, if you forget to take it, do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. If you forget to take a dose, do not take the missed dose. Just take the next dose at the right time. If you stop taking lust, if you forget to take lustral, do not. Oh no, I'll try that bit. If you stop taking lustral, do not stop taking lustral unless your doctor tells you to. Your doctor will want to gradually reduce your dose of lustral over several weeks before you finally stop taking this medicine. If you suddenly stop taking this medicine, you may experience side effects such as dizziness, numbness, sleep disturbances. Agitation or anxiety, headaches, feeling sick, being sick, and shaking. If you experience any of these side effects or any other side effects while stopping taking lustral, please speak to your doctor. If you have any further questions on the use of this product, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Possible side effects. Like all medicines, this medicine can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. Nausea is the most common side effect. This side effect depends on the dose and often disappear or lessen within continued treatment. With continued treatment, so your doctor immediately. If you experience the following symptoms after taking this medicine, the symptoms can be serious. Ooh. If it's serious, then why is it not being mentioned before prescribing this? Um, uh, if you develop a severe skin rash that causes bleeding, blistering, sorry, this can affect the mouth and the tongue. These may be signs of a condition known as Stevens Johnson Stephen Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrosis. That don't sound good. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it don't sound fucking anything you want. Um, if you uh, allergic reaction, blah blah. If you experience agitation, confusion, diarrhea, high temperature and blood pressure, excessive sweating and rapid heartbeat. These are symptoms of serotonin syndrome. In rare cases, this syndrome may occur when you are taking certain medicines at the same time. Your doctor may wish to stop your treatment. If you develop yellow skin and eyes, which may mean liver damage. If you experience depressive symptoms with ideas of harming or killing yourself. If you start to get feelings of restlessness and are not able to sit or stand after you start to take that all, you should tell your doctor if you start to feel restless, if you have a fit seizure, if you have a manic episode. The following side effects were seen. All right, here we go. Look. So this is what their clinical trials do. This is, uh, you know. Oh, the well-trusted... Uh, that one. He who shall not be named. Um, where have we got to? Following side effects were seen in clinical trials in adults and after marketing. Very common. May affect more, more than one in ten. One in ten, more than one in ten. So, m more it may affect more than one in ten. So one out of ten people are most likely to get this, maybe more. So we'll just say one in ten, because it may affect more than that. So right, one in ten. We'll just leave it there, because that's a that's a lot. One in ten people will get insomnia, dizziness, sleep, 
sleep, sleepiness, headache, diarrhea, feeling sick, dry mouth, ejaculation failure. Cool. Fatigue. Common may affect up to one in ten persons. People. Chest cold, sore throat, runny nose, decreased appetite, increased appetite, anxiety, depression, agitation. Okay, I thought that's what you're taking the drug for. Decreased sexual interest, nervousness, feeling strange, nightmare. Nightmare. Who's ever heard of that as a side effect? This 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 gives one in ten people nightmares. Teeth grinding. Shaking muscular movement nightmare. Movement problems, such as moving a lot, tense muscles, difficulty walking, and this is one in ten still, by the way, people, yeah, bearing in mind. Um, difficulty walking and stiffness, spasms, and involuntary movements of muscles, numbness and tingling, muscle tense, lack of attention, abnormal taste, visual disturbance, ringing in ears, palpitations, hot flush, yawning, Upset stomach, constipation, abdominal pain. This is still 1 in 10, by the way, people. This is what we're at. 1 in 10. Up to 1 in 10. Vomiting. Gas. Increased sweating. Rash. Back pain. Joint pain. Muscle pain. Menstrual irregularities. Erectile dysfunction. Malaise. Chest pain. Weakness. Fever. Um, weight increase. Injury. Injury. This... Could you be any more vague? What does that... That's, that sounds like that's just to cover them like, like, so they're not liable. Right, one in ten people are, will get injury. Injury. Is that some Is that some medical condition I've not ever heard of? Maybe I'm being dense, I don't know, but injury. One in ten people suffer from injury. What does that mean? That clearly means that there's a whole load of fucking things that can go wrong. We'll just write injury. Basically, you may have an injury if you take this. What well, it may be, injury. Just injury, mate. If you, you may get injured if you take this. One in ten people are injured. Up Uncommon may affect one in a hundred people. Tumour. One in a hundred people gets a tumour. Low thyroid hormones, suicide thoughts, suicide behaviours, psychotic disorder. So you've gone from OCD, you've been cleaning a bit too much around the house, you know, you can't keep, you can't put the bleach down. Next minute you're uh, drinking the bleach because you've got a psychotic disorder. Um, lack of caring, hallucination. Oh, lack of caring, that sounds good in this society. You can, you can crack on, mate, right? so you'll, you'll fit right in. Um, aggression, euphoric mood, paranoia. Amnesia. Well, you fucking know what, mate? That paranoia isn't... People should be more paranoid. If you're giving them this shit, and not even explaining this to them. People got reason to be paranoid, don't they? Amnesia. Decreased feeling. Decreased feeling. Now, I know what that means, because I know people that have gone through all this shit. And literally, what does that even mean? Decreased feeling. You won't, you will stop to feel. You won't feel things anymore. Lack of caring. Psychotic disorders. Thinking abnormal. You know? Are you reading this? This is one in a hundred. Which is probably a bit of a lie as well, to be honest. That probably is one in ten. I, I think everyone that's taking this that I know has been like this. At least some or all of these. Amnesia, decreased feeling, involuntary muscle contractions, passing out, moving a lot, migraine, convulsion, dizziness, stand, uh, dizziness while standing up, abnormal coordination, speech disorder, enlarged pupils, ear pain. We might as well do some ecstasy by the sound of things, enlarged pupils, and all, all the rest of it, lost your appetite with this. This sounds like all the downside of the fucking drug, not the fucking, might as well do some uh, underground ones. Um... Bleeding problems, uh, fast heartbeat. Um, here we go. 
shortness of breath, nosebleed, blood and urine. Fucking hell. Tarry stools, tooth disorder, inflammation of the esophagus, tongue problem, hemorrhoids, increased saliva, difficulty swallowing, burping, tongue disorder, eye swelling, hives, hair loss. Cool, there's a whole lot of shit. I'm going to have all this. This video's getting huge. Problem urinating, nightmare urination. What the? No, nighttime urination. Sexual dysfunction, ex excessive vaginal bleeding, vaginal hemorrhage, female sexual dysfunction, swelling in legs, chills, difficulty walking, increasing liver enzyme levels, causes cases of suicidal ideation and suicidal behaviours have been reported during sertraline therapy or early after treatment discontinuation. See section two. Well, we won't do that, I think, I'm pretty sure. All these things, a lot of bad things, basically. Not known. Frequency cannot be estimated from the available data. Locked jaw, bed wetting, partial loss of vision. Partial loss of vision. Side effects reported after marketing. Additional side effects in children and adolescents. In clinical trials with children, now this is important because we're talking about youngers now. This is uh, coming from Pfizer, yeah? Same people who want to give this shit to your... Well, they want to go in schools and give it, to put this shit in people, which alters their DNA. Yeah, these same people have been handing out these to children and adolescents. And that is after, in clinical trials with children and adolescents, the side effects were generally similar to adults. The most common side effects in children and adolescents were headache, insomnia, diarrhea and feeling sick. Symptoms that can occur when treatment is discontinued. If you suddenly stop taking this medicine, you may experience side effects such as dizziness, numbness, sleep disturbances, agitation, anxiety, headaches, feeling sick, being sick and shaking. An increased risk of bone fractures has been observed. What? In patients taking this type of medicines. How do they know that? That could just be chance, surely. What? How do they know that? Unless they're like, you know, hitting people and testing. Oh, okay, yeah, that, he, his arm broke easier. How do you know? People have accidents and maybe there's... You know, chances were just not on their side. I don't get that one. That is how how do they determine that? Reporting of side effects. How many people are reporting these side effects? I, that shows how that's that's just the people that did report it. You know, most people probably don't even do it. Yellow Card Scheme website, mhra.gov.uk, Yellow Card, or search for that in Google or Apple Store. Google Play or Apple App Store. Malta ADR reporting. How to store that? Um. Titanium dioxide. Oh shit. No, that sounds good. I don't know what any of that is. Well, there you go.
Germany. This medicinal product is authorized in the member states of the EEA under the following names. Right, there you go. Don't take this shit, it's not good for you. And that's their track record, I would say.